I'm out walking at home. <clears throat> if I go out early enough, I can beat the heat and the sun. It's supposed to be getting very hot today. It's supposed to be 32 Celsius, the hottest day so far, which I think is 96. I'm not sure. 90. I don't know. It's going to be hot. It's probably better not to know that it's going to be hot, you know? Boy, look at these bugs. I'm going to catch him on my hat. It's nice to be out for a walk. I need a walk. But I can't have you on while I'm walking because I can't swing my arms. It's too bright out here though. I'm going to go on this side. I would really like to have a boardwalk in the woods, but you can't have everything. Look at these little flowers. What are these? I've never seen them before. Never, ever, ever. You're gonna go for a walk with me? Well, you better not be crossing the road then. about driving into Ottawa with Willem every day is all that I get to do on those paths. You know, I get to go for a long walk. I get to stop and see different things and lots of people's yards and look at their flowers and their bushes. There's a lot that goes on for me when I'm in there. And um, when I'm at home, I find that when it gets hot, I hide from the heat. But last night when I was hiding from the heat, I started working on my loom. I filled up my, I've done, finished my warp. And so I've, um, been trying to use my warp mill. Now I know how I'm supposed to do it. Ha. Huh. Finally, I know how I'm supposed to do it. I made one of those bars with the pegs in it. I now I realize I need two of them, so I'll put up another one. I can do that. I can do difficult things one step at a time, man. Otherwise, I'd never get anything accomplished. Pleasant outside right now. It's only in the it's in the teens or twenty or something. So I opened all the windows last night. Hopefully it'll feel air conditioned in there again today. But you can't go inside now because then you let the hot air in. Hmm. It's a real challenge. Let's see how that my pink plant is working over here. Oh, they're gonna take out the the labyrinth at Mira. I don't see my pink bush. Hmm. 
This is canary grass. This tall yellow things. Look at how it's growing up in there. I was noticing that the other day, how the alders have gotten so big. It's gonna be it's gonna be shady in there. It's gonna be an alder growth. I think that's great. Yes, I do. I really, really do. Except here where my labyrinth is. But all these little alders are going to grow up. Look at how big they are over there. Like they've come along and cut the grass. It's my electricity for when I make soap down here. I haven't made soap down here in a very, very long time. This purple loose stripe is so beautiful, but it is invasive. We didn't have any, and now we have some. One day it'll all be purple loose stripe, won't it? Look, one of the real Queen Anne's lace. clouding over and it won't be so hot. Look at this, look how beautiful it is. Now what is he? Is 12 spotted? No, one, two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, six, eight spotted something. The dragon climbing. Interesting, I wonder why they're on there. <laughs> Look 
Let's see how many bugs we caught. None. Oh yeah, two, three. Jeepers, jeepers, Now that's a damselfly. Deer have been eating at that. Let's see my pink bush. Canary grass goes very tall. Look at the meadow room. Matches, candles. Now. 
I mean not man. Weiner. Hello, Weiner. That's your new name is Weiner. I wormed him. I defleed him. And still he's whining and whining and whining. This is why you were following me, hoping for an opportunity to get petted, aren't you? Well, let's lie down here. And see what there is to see. Oh, it's not bad. Nice view. After my long and exhausting walk. I've been bummed out lately. But I feel fine today. It was something, you know. I was really bummed out. And really bummed out. And then Willem came over. I was waking up. I'd been, I took a nap. And he came over and lay down. And then he smiled at me. He said, hello, sweetheart. He had a big smile, like it was this, the way he usually smiles. And I hadn't remembered that he was, like he's been in so much pain from his gout, he doesn't smile anymore. It's just, I told him, you know now, Willem, just because you're in pain, like I've been in pain for years and years and years, just because you're in pain doesn't mean you can go around being in a bad mood. And so he took that to heart, and he's been nice. Usually he's in a, when he's in pain, he's in an awful mood, and grumpy. So it was really nice that he's not being in a bad mood, but he wouldn't have that heartfelt smile. So I knew the pills must be working and his foot must be less painful because he was actually up. Anyway, I noticed that I felt so ha I smiled when I saw him smiling. It was just so nice to see him smiling. And I felt better since then. I haven't felt so gloomy. Interesting that I would feel gloomy because he's feeling gloomy. This cat really does not get enough of anything. I don't know why. Elida said she thought she could fix him. She could make him into a wonderful cat, but they come this way. Some cats just need to be petted 24 hours a day or they cry. I know I sound so cruel because he cries whenever I'm with him and I don't pet him. I'm not into petting a cat that cries all day. It's nice lying here. But I am allergic to cats. I don't want my face. I'm not allergic like some people. I mean, my eyes don't get all red. And I don't sneeze and sneeze and sneeze and sneeze, but I don't want to get in my face. There, you be comfortable. There, you just relax. Yeah, you look sweet. Just relax and look sweet. Sounds nice in here. Weiner. I need a name for this cat. I don't know if Elida gave it a name. I always call it Elida's cat. I think he does have a name though. I just don't know what it is. I took it so that I could get rid of it for her. But he's not spayed. That means if I take him to the vet they, or whatever to get to the, the pound, I'll have to pay $70 or whatever the cost of getting him spayed is for them to take him. 
I can't fix a female cat. I can fix a male cat. I can fix pigs. I can't fix a female cat. Well, I've never tried. <laughs> I can do difficult things. No. I'll leave it to the experts. Here go the clouds. There's a bird in the tree over there. It's quite relaxing here. I like this spot. I'll have to sit down to be petted. Away from my face, that's good. This is going to be too long to upload, isn't it? I haven't been uploading much lately. I've just been kind of bummed out. I don't like being inside. Like being outside. This is a great spot right here. Can't find a spot like this in Ottawa. I mean, it's nice to have people come around, but I have you. When I have you, I don't feel alone. You know how old people like to talk? They talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. You should just have a video camera. I bet they could talk and feel, and then people would respond. I've been reading comments. Some people's comments are kind of unkind. From old videos telling me to clean my house. Clean your house before you. What's this? I can't see it. There's a bird in there somewhere. Oh, there he is. Oh, it's a little warbler guy. Not a good combination. He's a beautiful little bird, isn't he? 